Frank Pavone, head of Priests for Life, has been defrocked by the Vatican for what it said were blasphemous communications on social media as well as persistent disobedience of his bishop. Frank Pavone, head of Priests for Life, has been defrocked by the Vatican for what it said were blasphemous communications on social media as well as persistent disobedience of his bishop. The Vatican has defrocked an anti-abortion U.S. priest, Frank Pavone, for what it said were blasphemous communications on social media as well as persistent disobedience of his bishop. A letter to U.S. bishops from the Vatican ambassador to the U.S., Archbishop Christophe Pierre, obtained Sunday, said the decision against Pavone, who heads the anti-abortion group Priests for Life, had been taken November 9, and that there was no chance for an appeal. Pavone had been investigated by his then Diocese of Amarillo, Texas, for having placed an aborted fetus on an altar and posting a video of it on two social media sites in 2016. Pavone remains a firm supporter of Trump. In a tweet Sunday, Pavone sounded defiant, comparing his fate to that of the unborn. So in every profession, including the priesthood, if you defend the hashtag unborn, you will be treated like them. The only difference is that when we are aborted, we continue to speak, loud and clear. His supporters immediately denounced the measure, including the Bishop of Tyler, Texas, Joseph Strickland, who referred to U.S. President Joe Biden's support for abortion rights as evil. The blasphemy is that this holy priest is cancelled while an evil president promotes the denial of truth and the murder of the unborn at every turn, Vatican officials promote immorality and denial of the deposit of faith and priests promote gender confusion devastating lives evil, Strickland tweeted. Pavone had appealed to the Vatican over restrictions placed on his ministry in 2011 by the Amarillo bishop, succeeded in getting the restrictions eased, and relocated away from Texas while remaining active with priests for life. In his letter, Pierre cited information from the Congregation for Clergy that Pavone had been laicized, he can no longer present himself as a priest after being found guilty in a canonical proceeding of blasphemous communications on social media and of persistent disobedience of the lawful instructions of his diocesan bishop. The letter was first reported by Catholic News Agency. The statement said Pavone was given ample opportunity to defend himself as well as to submit to his bishop. It was determined that Father Pavone had no reasonable justification for his actions. The statement concluded that since Priests for Life is not a Catholic organization, it would be up to the group to determine whether he could continue his role as a lay person. Laicization, or being reduced to the lay state, is one of the harshest sanctions in the Church's canon law. Major winter storm expected to hit much of U.S. before Christmas. A major winter storm system is expected to strike much of the U.S. days before Christmas, potentially snarling holiday travel as motorists and air travelers contend with heavy snow, powerful winds, and bitterly cold temperatures across several regions. This sprawling storm system coincides with the arrival of an Arctic air mass that will consume much of the country this upcoming week, according to the National Weather Service. Between Tuesday and Saturday, temperature highs are expected to average from 10 to 35 F below normal from the northwest to the eastern two-thirds of the U.S. In the northern plains and upper Midwest, temperatures could plummet into the negative teens Fahrenheit and extend into the central plains. From the Midwest to the mid and northern portions of the eastern seaboard, temperatures are expected to fall into the single digits and teens, the meteorological agency said. Even the southern U.S. will not be spared, with temperatures potentially dropping in portions of normally temperate states such as Florida and Texas. The northern Gulf Coast might see below freezing temperatures, according to the Weather Channel. The storm system could bring still more weather extremes. AccuWeather's senior long-range meteorologist, Joe Lundberg, said, this is the type of setup that can lead to ground blizzards in parts of the central states. This storm will likely become intense, feeding on the extremely sharp variation between the surging Arctic air arriving from the central states and relatively warm air across the southeastern U.S., 
warned AccuWeather's chief meteorologist John Porter. Major East Coast storms over the decades have occurred in this type of setup, bringing the risk for heavy snow and rain, gusty winds, coastal flooding, severe thunderstorms and even tornadoes on the southern side of the storm. The system will come after a powerful storm dumped snow across portions of the eastern U.S. this weekend, leaving about 144,000 electricity customers without power from northern New York to Maine, NBC News reported. Some Maine residents might be blacked out until Monday or Tuesday as numerous roads were impassable, the outlet said. Heavy snow will continue over Maine while heavy lake effect snow continues over western and north central New York into Monday, the National Weather Service said on Sunday. Meanwhile, the northern plains could face wind chills as low as dash 60 F. This quake erupted about 5.30 p.m. Friday and marks at least the second West Texas Tembler exceeding 5.0 magnitude over the last month, according to the Lubbock Avalanche Journal. State oil and gas investigators began examining that 5.4 magnitude seism northwest of Pecos, Texas, on November 16. Scientists have tied an increase in seismic activity to injecting fracking wastewater underground. Oil companies frequently dispose of this salty, contaminated waste underground, which can awaken dormant fault lines, the outlet reported. Cecily Strong says farewell to SNL. Cecily Strong attends the 73rd Primetime Emmy Awards at LA on September 19, 2021 in Los Angeles, California. Cecily Strong attends the 73rd Primetime Emmy Awards at LA on September 19, 2021 in Los Angeles, California. Cecily Strong, who made viewers hysterical with her spot-on impressions of celebrities, politicians, and the girl you wish you hadn't started a conversation with at a party is leaving Saturday Night Live. After 11 years, Strong made her final appearance as a cast member this weekend on the show's final episode of the year, hosted by actor Austin Butler and featuring musical guest Lizzo. In a sketch where Strong pretended it was her last day working at a radio shack, cast member Keenan Thompson celebrated her career. Every time she came to work she had a new character or a new accent or a new impression that will just blow you away. She had a power and joy to her performance that made you remember why you loved working at Radio Shack in the first place, Thompson joked. I love you to Mr. Frank Lasagna, Strong replied. Strong, who was one of the longest tenured cast members on SNL took on bold impersonations of controversial female figures like Kristen Sinema, Marjorie Taylor Greene and Melania Trump. I don't have time to think Seth. This election is an outrage, it's a joke. Okay? It's a bomb nation, Cecily Strong performed in one of many memorable appearances on Weekend Update. It's like, who do we think we are? And who do you think you are Seth? Because guess what, you're not. Strong is the latest cast member to exit SNL. Several beloved stars left this past year, including Kate McKinnon, A.D. Bryant, Kyle Mooney, Pete Davidson, Melissa Villasenor, Alex Moffat, Aristotle Athery, and Chris Redd. Strong joined SNL in 2012. During her tenure, she has been nominated twice for an Emmy Award for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. Strong also briefly co-hosted Weekend Update with both Seth Meyers and Colin Jost. Despite her departure from the SNL, all signs suggest that fans will see more of Strong in the future. On Apple TV+, Plus, which stars Strong, has been renewed for a second season. Strong will also be featured in the upcoming animated feature Garfield which is slated to premiere in 2024.